Hey everybody, today let's talk about a virtual mailbox or how to get your mail here in the Philippines. I hope you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to suggest you get your virtual mailbox six months prior to leaving. The reason being is you want to make sure that your banks and your credit card companies all accept this as a, a mailing address. So you go to your bank account, you know, you click on, uh, you have your home address, but you can also add a mailing address. So add the mailing address and have them send something, either a statement. So I told them my credit card was damaged. So they would send me another one. Same thing with my debit card. So all my banks and all my credit card companies all sent me a new debit or credit card to the virtual mailbox. And then I was able to physically go down and pick it up because it was right down the street from where I lived. But once you're here in the Philippines and you need a card, they'll send it to your virtual mailbox and then you can have it forwarded to the Philippines. To have family and friends who will get your mail for you and forward stuff to you. I found that I didn't want to bother anybody. I also am a very private person. I don't need other people to know my business. So that's why I use the, the virtual mailbox. It only costs $9.95 a month. It costs $2.25 to have a document scanned um, up to 10 pages. And then they'll email it to you and you can read it. So I took some screenshots of the process. So let's take a look at it. So you just Google PostNet or PostNet 1. That's how it showed up on my Google search. You get to their home page and you see to find a PostNet near, near you, you enter the zip code or the city. Um, when you click on to enter search, I put in the zip code to Cleveland, Ohio and it came up with seven places that are close and you choose one while you're while you're on the uh, home page there you take your um, mailbox virtual choose a, a plan my my price is 995 it's the green plan and also check compare the benefits so my post net is in Albuquerque I had it for almost a year because of COVID before I moved here. When you get mail, they're going to send you an email. It says you have mail. And then you open the email and it gives you all their, you know, their email address and such. But you just click here and it'll take you right to your mailbox. And you can see in my mailbox, I have two items besides the wel welcome. I have one letter that's been scanned and this one I just received. If you want to discard the letter, say it's junk mail, you just click on the letter and hit recycle. Now me, I wanted to scan so I went to view and click scan documents. After you submit your request they show you how much it's going to cost and what do you want to do. I always put my mail back in the mailbox in case there's a problem with it. And again, you can see the price, 225 up to 10 pages. And you can do some bundling, you know, to get the cost down. Once you submit that, you get a confirmation. And once you get there, just go back to your uh, inbox. Now you see the letter has a scan requested. So I have one scanned, uh, I have one scan request. Now the one letter I got that I scanned already, just click on it and you go up here to discard free. Once you got everything, you discard it. Once you're finished with it, and you know, you submit your request, any special instructions, and then down here, down at the bottom, you submit your request.
Then it'll take you back and, you know, you go to your inbox. Then I have the letters already scanned. I went back the next day. They finished the scan. So I click on that. And I go to Actions. And then I want it forward as an attachment. Now once, once you click on forward as an attachment, You're going to the submit request. And here you're going to put in your full name or whoever's name you're going to send to and the email address you want it sent to. So, you know, and then you uh, submit the request and you go, go back to your inbox. That's about it. You can enlarge the picture by clicking on the item number and hovering over. Now, while you're in Postal One or PostNet, there's the Help Center. This USP Form 1583 and notarizing. You need to get that form filled out and notarized so they can take your mail and forward it to you here in the Philippines. Um, you can do it in person, take the form and go down to the local notary, or you can do it online and they charge about $25 to notarize it online. And this is what the form is. It's really just a permission slip for them to reroute your mail. Now, if you have any questions, you go to the Help Center link. They're very helpful. Every question I've had, um, they've answered within 24 hours. And here's some, uh, you go to the 1583 form, and it tell you all, tells you all about it. But that form must be filled out. Now, you'll get a... When you send the scan to yourself, you go back into uh, your mailbox that you're going to have the scan forwarded to you. They send you the email, just like the other one, and it comes as an attachment right here. And then you just click on it, and you'll have the letter. And you'll be able to read, you know, up to 10 pages for that $2.25. This I wanted to physically read the letter, even though I knew what it was. And you can do that with anything. I hope you found that helpful. Make sure you understand all the charges when they go to forward mail to you in the Philippines. If you have a local office that you can go into and you can talk to them, have them explain the process with a 1583 form. And also any fees when they forward it to you using FedEx or UPS. I hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.